Hello everyone. So in this uh, root motion based locomotion system, uh, today we are going to work on this diagonal walking animations. Because uh, previously, when I walk diagonally, there was some slowdown effect and I want to fix that and improve our root motion based locomotion system today. So as you can see, if I turn slightly to the right like this, you can see before character's body turn to that area, the direction, it works slightly on a diagonal animation like this, like a little bit of a running and it works when the character is running as well see so character perfectly rotate to that direction uh, in a natural way like this so yeah and the uh, stop running stop working stop animations are also working as well right so okay let's see how to do those things and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so this is the problem i have at the moment this works fine when i walk straight but when i try to uh, turn i mean if i turn like this you can see for an instance, I feels like character is walking in slow motion. Not when turning, but for some instances. See? If I walk like this, you can see character is kind of looks like walking in slow motion. So the reason for that is in this uh, locomotion blend space with root motion enables enabled i don't have any diagonal animations all i have is this uh, strafe walk strafe running and walk forward walk running so those are the only stuff i have so when the blend space is playing in somewhere like this you can see this slow down effect so we need to prevent that so for that i have imported this diagonal l and diagonal r animations which oh, does not look ideal looks like something is wrong because you can see the location is changing all right right so when i in the root motion settings when I select reference pose instead of animations first frame I think that problem goes away yeah now let's check yeah all right uh, but still if the character is here the speed is here we will get that slow down effect so how to get rid of that what we need to get rid of is this this interpolation um, right anyway let's check how it looks now These are the problems. Uh, let's try something like this. In the horizontal axis, uh, it's four divisions. Uh, let's add eight divisions. And let's add, oh, 
and for the forward axis instead of two divisions let's add four divisions and let's add this to oh that doesn't work oh wait let's see this is working right let's see how it works now looks pretty good actually so when I turn character kind of do some running motion but that's okay so it doesn't have that weird uh, slow down look anymore which is great If I complete it turn the camera character turns like that all right so I think uh, let's check when running as well Yeah, it looks all right. All right. So, oh, one more thing. We have to fix something else. So, as you can see here, when I walk forward and stop, it plays the stop animation accordingly so like this so but when i walk diagonally uh, let's say like this so here character uh, goes indefinitely without stopping now at the moment i have actually released the moment key so the reason is I have implemented this on ground left foot and on ground right foot animation when my character walk so I have to implement this animation event in the diagonal walking as well because otherwise that event will not be fired and uh, a stop animation will not be played so the character will go continuously right so when the left foot touch the ground I play the on ground LF touch okay like this and right foot like this okay so let's do the same Add notify on ground LF and on ground RF. Do the same for the right diagonal animation on ground LF. 
on round RF. Right? Now it should be alright. Yeah, like that. Well, not quite. Let's see. Again. Didn't I add? Ah, sorry, I haven't added to the R. I have added left strap, not the diagonal animation. Okay. Alert. RF. Right. It should be alright now. See? Okay, now the character stops smoothly. Like this. Alright, so that's all. So we can stop this episode right here. And as always, project files will be available for download through the Patreon page. So if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon club. And the link would be in the description below. So thanks for watching. See you in another episode. Goodbye. Also feel free to let me know what else you would like to cover in this root motion based locomotion series.